tuned into the Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, October 20th. I'm David Kaplan. Let's get right to it. First of all, if you didn't watch the Bulls game last night, you missed a really good opening night win. Bulls 116-108 winners in Miami, and they had to do it without their arguably best player in Zach Levine. But guess what? Their 1A player, DeMar DeRozan, a monster, 36 minutes, 37 points, six rebounds, nine assists, Bulls win. Five gold star performance for DeMar DeRozan, who was a second team all pro last year and picked up right where he left off. And then outstanding work out of Io DeSumo, Nikola Vucevic, and Goran Dragic, among others. Bulls off till Friday night when they play in Washington. No word yet if Levine will play with this knee management issue but I don't see a scenario where he's going to play back-to-back. -back. They play Friday and Saturday. Saturday, the home opener against the Cavaliers. So if he plays Friday, he's certainly out Saturday. I would bet he doesn't play Friday, and he makes his season debut on Saturday. Billy Donovan said it flared up a bit after a really intense practice on Sunday, and that's why he did not play yesterday. Zach said there was no setback. We're just managing it. You're managing it the first game of the season? That does not make sense. So we'll see where this all goes. Uh, but again, a really solid opening night win for the Bulls. Blackhawks will get their home opener, their next game. They are one and two. Detroit rolls into town on Friday night. Don't forget, I'll be doing my unfiltered show on NBC Sports Chicago live from the United Center at six o'clock on Friday night football news. A lot going on with the Chicago Bears. Let's get into all of it. They play their final nationally televised game when they take on the Patriots Monday night in Foxborough, Massachusetts on Monday night football. On Wednesday, Bill Belichick was asked his thoughts on the Bears. If you didn't listen to it, you better clear your calendar for a while. The longest single answer of his career. 1,003 words. That's true. 1,000 and three words over seven minutes as he waxed eloquent about all the good things that the Chicago Bears do. You know what? Get that fireboat right there and hose down all of the nonsense that he was saying. He's a hell of a coach. There's no way he believes everything he said about all the good players the Bears have. Mac Jones told the media today he believes he'll be ready to play on Monday and get his starting job back. Belichick's latest response, we'll see. I don't deal in hypotheticals. Trade deadline in the NFL is November 1st. Rumors circulating the Bears are shopping defensive end Robert Quinn. He's got one sack. He's not having a great year. Of course, set a club record with sacks 18 and a half a year ago. Do not expect a significant return for the 33-year-old Quinn. The bigger question is to me, what do you do with David Montgomery? He's your best running back. He's a free agent at the end of the season, unrestricted. Either you have to extend him before he gets the free agency or tag him. They're never going to pay him the franchise tag or trade him. Does he get moved if the Bears lose their next couple of ball games? Uh, Dak Prescott said he's healthy, ready to return, and is planning on starting a QB for Dallas this Sunday when they take on the Lions in Big D. He's missed the last five games after fracturing his right thumb in the season opener. And finally, are you a soccer fan? Ronaldo has been taken off the active roster for Manchester United. He walked out on his team before the end of the Manchester United Tottenham game. So as punishment, he's not being allowed to play in the game against Chelsea on Saturday. Unbelievable, these guys. It's incredible, man. Hey, have a great rest of your night. Another recap rush hour tomorrow. And tomorrow night, a recap of hopefully the Bulls' second straight win to open the season. Click that QR code if you want a shot at a 70-inch TV and we hit 30,000 subscribers from Apt Electronics or one of $200 gift cards to Lou Malmati's. Have a great night. Take that.